She can't move fast enough. <laughs> Getting fucked up. Last bar health. Fire. What is he doing? They basically just gave me like a cheap mode. Damn, what they were gonna do this? Hell, what's the purpose of even making it this far? Mm. Mm. All the fire kicks you can get. Rotate, 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 rotate. Boom. He didn't make it.
it's sealing them back up. Yep. The platform is lowered. He has been resealed. That or his spirit just got purified. Who the fuck are you? You did it, Cora. I thought opening the portal in my lifetime would be an issue. It turns out I also have to answer for things I did a hundred lifetimes ago. Well, at least after that, facing Kano and the Wolf Bats should be no problem. Uh, I got one more match. Maya Paris versus Wolfpack. Welcome to Pro Vending Night in Republic City. And tonight we have the rematch that every Pro Vending fan has been dying to see. The former league winner Wolfpack take on the team that many observers, yours truly included, say got cheated out of a championship. The Fire Paris. gave the wolf bats their vending pack, but I doubt Kano and his pals are likely to show the fire ferret any kindness in return in the ring. Well, if it's oh, wow. the Avatar, ready to lose again? Hey, Cora, where were you this week? Yeah, you missed all the excitement. Pabu got his head caught in a food jar. Then Bolin got his hand caught trying to pull Pabu out. Will you let me tell it, please, all the time? Yes, that's pretty much what happened. You guys want to pay attention to the match and not get blasted off again? Oh, is that why you broke up with Mako? Because he's the weakest member of the team? Mm. Lynn, what? I'm just trying to cut the tension between you two. You know, I'm just trying to keep it loose. I'll keep you loose. Good one. Seems to Cora, which one of us do you think is better? I can't choose. Besides, if you're not number one, uh. what's it matter? Oh, I think that's some Avatar smack talk. Love it! Avatar and he's gone. Back. to finish that match quicker than they uh, anticipated. Special thanks to everybody. Like they really just can't say everybody that they really got to give names. Alright, well that's it. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I guess I'll just speak my piece. And, uh, wait a minute, did, uh, like, did the name Justin Wong just come up? I don't know, maybe I was just seeing things. <laughs> but yeah, man. So that's it for uh, The Legend of Korra. The video game based on the uh, spinoff anime of the Avatar, The Last Airbender. Airbender, my bad. And uh, you know what? Let me just say it like this. For a $15 game, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad for a $15 game. They can get what you pay for. I see what they were trying to do. It was a nice, quick game. You know, Platinum Games, they had their foot in it, as you can see. Um, you know, they did a good job. There's a couple things that they could have did better. Like, they could have um, not had this learn-as-you-go-along mentality. And a lot of things that you were still trying to get to do just as a new player. Like, you... A lot of these things are just going to be like trial and error. Like, you're not going to know how to handle, like, multiple enemies that are, you know, like, attacking you from every which way. Like, you're not going to get that right away. So it's going to be, like, a lot of retries. So I wish they would have had, like, a tutorial where you could, like, practice that a bit more than trying to learn it the quote-unquote hard way. But then again, you know, some people like it like that. I don't know. I guess it's just, like, a love-hate kind of, kind of thing, but... You know, if the average person plays this, you know, like they're going 
I feel like they're going to be satisfied in the long run. It's just that, you know, learning a game as you go, it is a learning experience. Like, it will be trial and error. For example, like those runs that I was doing on Naga, it was... It was ridiculous. Uh, hey guys, seriously, thanks for playing. I know it was just one person, but I really like you and all of you. I'm assuming there's a lot of replay value with this game as well. So for a $15 game to be able to go back and play it and try to master the stages or whatever, now that you have all your avatar powers or whatever. Um, oh, that's right. Hey, I was supposed to get a costume, wasn't I? Let's go check that out. Yeah, like there's a couple things they could have did better. I like talisman charge boost. You can get talisman charge from the spirit shop. I like Horus book one outfit. Yeah, like, like there's some things they could have did better. But nevertheless, man, uh, or, or the pro bending league. What is this that? Okay, so I guess we're not over uh, just yet. Um, well, first let me go back and see. The game I keep on uh, select, continue, and change their difficulty at any time. I, I actually, I'm actually interested in seeing what that costume looks like. So this movie, the book one costume, it was, it was just like a bit lighter. All she had was a lighter top, that's nothing. And a different armband. All she had was like four, five costumes. Like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So all she did was change the top. The hair different? No. So all she did was change the top. What the hell? It's not a major costume change. Let's see what's in the shop. Let's go and get him. I don't even have all the shop items. So I guess I better use fire more in order for me to get that. I like I have to learn a somersault. Once you reach, once your fire burning reaches level seven. All right. So I guess I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna. Uh, Try out the pro bending league to see what that's all about. Oh no! Uh, like I think that's going to be fun in its own little right. But yeah, as I was saying, for a fifteen dollar game, it wasn't bad. It's a learning experience, but once you get the hang of it, it, it isn't bad. You know, I might have to go back and try these runs once or twice to uh, to really get the hang of them. But nevertheless, man, it was an enjoyable game. So. If you guys ever get the chance, you know, it's $15. It's, it's a quick experience, you know, nothing too uh, fancy. Um, but, you know, it, it's a nice beat em up. If a, you know, like, like you do get your money's worth. And it seems to be like another mode that I can play. So I'm going to try that out soon. And um, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the story mode of uh, The Legend of Korra. Until then.